Mm. I'm so hungry. We waited so long for these burgers. Takes time to make them. Oh, time. If only there was some way to order food and have it delivered to your home. But alas, that will never happen. You can already do that. It's called home delivery. It's a whole industry. So what you're saying is I can corner that industry? No, I didn't remotely oh, say that. Yes, you're right, I can. Ooh, I can already feel my entrepreneurial juices flowing. And when that happens, markets are invariably cornered. And what food are you going to make? Cakes. I will be the home delivery cake king. Oh, I must speak with Raffles. Mm. 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 <laughs> Raffles, I have come for your advice. Advice? That's new. You usually come to gloat. Berate. Chastise. Ridicule. Yes, I do all those things and more. And brag. Yes, quite a lot of bragging. I am ready to become the cake king of home delivery. I shall call my business Cake King's Home Delivery. What about Cake King's Takeaway? Like takeaway? Mr. Ong, why are you encouraging this? As I was saying, Cake King's Takeaway. Yes, I think it's a fantastic idea. Let me just finish eating and I'll come and help. Ah, thank you, Raffles. <laughs> Mr. Ong, why are you helping him to start a business? Mightn't that attract attention? Zachary, I've learned it's harder to argue with Leonardo and easier to just let him run with his ideas. Usually they fizzle out. <laughs> Nila, you should recycle that box. Recycle? What's that? I have exhaustively studied the Earth's top entrepreneurs, from Elon Musk to Jeff Bozos. I'm ready. Of course, after 30 seconds of exhaustive research. And what is your first step? Well, there appears to be a common element to how all of them began their empires. Golf shirts. Absolutely, the first step to running a business, comfortable clothes. But then where does all the garbage I've been throwing around go? Mostly to rot in the ground or in the oceans. All over, really. Rot in the ground? Oh, but all the things I've thrown away! Like packages, broken things, Raffles' shoes! You threw away his shoes? Oh, they were so ugly, I just thought they were radiating foot odour on some other planet. Nope. They're still here on Earth, somewhere. How unsettling. Not as unsettling as the rest of the junk that's out there circulating. But if our delivery vans are blue, won't they blend into the sky? Then the birds will fly into them. Ah, the old delivery vans blending into the sky problem. All the great entrepreneurs had to deal with that one. I wonder how Mark Zuckerberg did it. And with a name like that, why didn't he go into fast food? Good question. Mm. Oh, did you ever order those golf shirts? No. I couldn't decide between off-white or eggshell white, so then I decided to move on to the problem of bucket hats. But then I had to decide between short brim or long brim. So, I've moved on to delivery vans. Very wise. Yes, hello. Well, yes, I suppose so. Right now? Okay. I have to go and meet someone, apparently. But I also have to meet with someone. Someone named Destiny. <laughs> Destiny Gupta? She owns a hat supply business. <laughs> you do that. Thank you for meeting me, Raffles. Why didn't you just knock? It's rather delicate. A personal matter. Oh. Apologies again, Destiny. I didn't realize you only sold top hats. <laughs> well, if I'm going to sell cake, I must have cakes. <laughs> Ship? What? I need you to do me a favor, involving cakes. The big problem is, we produce way too much. Then, we have no way to dispose of the excess, especially food. So what happens to it? It just gets dumped. <gasps> oh, but that is extremely... 
extremely wasteful. Especially since so many humans are in need of food. Guys, I have kind of a situation. That's a shame. What is it? Maybe we can help? Thank you, Zachary. I knew I could rely on you. I need you to help me dump 40,000 cakes. <gasps> So, I just wanted to tell you a little about myself first, just for context. Then thank you for sharing your life story. <laughs> so, what seems to be this personal problem? If there was a special lady friend that I was interested in, what sort of gift would you give them? Ah, oh, well, <laughs> that's a tough one. I'm not very good at relationships. Perhaps there's someone more qualified you could ask. <laughs> I'm wondering what sort of gift your sister Neela might like. Neela? You like Neela? Well, yes. And I was hoping for some inside information. I just wanted a small supply of cakes to test the market. Lots of entrepreneurs test the market. 40,000 is not a small sample. I know, but it's all the ship's fault. How exactly? I asked it to do me a favour. Not a chance. I just need you to whip me up some cakes. I don't like cakes. You don't have to like them. I also don't like you. Ship, I have had enough of your insolence. Henceforth, you will do as I command you. Yes, Commander Leonardo. I bow to your superiority. What are your orders? If you're not going to tell the truth... Well, well, okay, okay. I just need 40 cakes, please. You can do that, can't you? Of course I can. I can do 400 cakes or 4,000. 40 is plenty. So the ship thought you meant 40,000? No. I don't want 40,000, I just want 40. You should be careful what you wish for. I didn't wish for 40,000. And yet your wish will be granted. 40,000 cakes will be delivered to you within the hour. 40,000 cakes will be a terrible waste. What are we going to do? I think we should tell Raffles. And by that, I mean Leonardo does. Mm. 40,000 cakes? No, I told you, it's the ship's fault. Well, why did you ask it in the first place? You know how unstable it is. Well, the good news is, it's not going to happen again. I'm getting out of the cake business. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. But you've obviously noticed the toll it's taken on me. <laughs> the relentless pressure over the last... 45 minutes. Oh, so much time invested. But my genius is not designed for long slogs. It prefers short jaunts up Mount Success. You don't say. Well, yes, I do. The key to success is not to fail. Oh, I can see that on a range of golf shirts. <laughs> You're back already? I decided to act on your advice immediately. Waldo! Oh, I didn't get a chance to warn, tell you that Mr. Harness would be coming by. Hello, Neela. I got you this. Ah. Is that celery? Yes, Raffles told me Neela likes it. Well, I don't. I'm sorry to have misled you. I love it. It's my favourite flower. Oh. <laughs> Incidentally, Raffles, outside your door is crammed with what appears to be kickboxes. <gasps> How many? I'd say around 40. 40, that's all. How many were you expecting? No, that sounds about right. If you'll excuse us for just a moment. <clears throat> I love celery. Oh. The smell, the food. And it tastes good. Ew, don't be gross! <laughs> I wonder why the ship only sent that many. Ship? You want to know where the rest of your cakes are, don't you? No, I got them all. I just wanted to thank you. Got them all? But you wanted 40,000. That's why it only sent 40. No, I only wanted 40. 
You mean I gave you what you asked for? Yes, you did. Ah, this is the worst day of my life. Well, that's a relief. But we still have 40 cakes. That's going to be a lot of waste. Thank you, Matilda. I'll have them round to you first thing in the morning. My friend at the agency says they'll be very happy to take the cakes. They'll distribute them to struggling families and it'll be a lovely treat for them. And no waste. That seems like the obvious solution. Instead of dumping excess food, give it to people who need food. You're right. Just because a solution is obvious, doesn't mean people can always see it. Wow, that's very true. And very wise. I saw it on a golf shirt. 